That's a gen, yeah. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Yes, yes, yes. For the last week the Muslim Ummah has woken up and we have been sharing what has been going on in the ground. Palestine, Gaza, West Bank, you name it. It's all over social media. Yeah, and because we don't have much of a budget. We have just been sharing whatever. We have Allah, kid. What we he have gives Allah. Risk. We have Allah, yes. and it's been sharing non-stop. Half a million, million, two million, three million, and the Israelis are not happy about this. We're smashing opponents, smashing opponents, smashing opponents, smashing opponents, and we're smashing opponents, brothers and sisters. They have the money, but we have the one who gives the money, and that's why they are now cheesed off. And what they're doing is they are spending thousands on YouTube ads yes. and putting those YouTube ads on in our videos. On our videos. Muslim YouTubers, Mufti Mank, Ali, myself, we've been getting messages. Oh, before this video, they've been doing this. And you know what they're doing? They are spending, again, millions, just like the Pentagon spent millions. Uh, on propaganda ISIS videos, yes, we are seeing we are seeing a trend now. Yeah, but this is not 20, 30 years ago when there was no social media. Yes. Now we know what time it is, and you guys can see this. And that's why we're blocking those ads. And we showed you how to do that with our other video on my channel. Inshallah, yeah. you can share that with all the Muslim YouTubers. Thirty seconds to block the ad. It's as simple as that. Yeah. Now in definitely. today's video, they've got this whole new propaganda. It's called Imagine if this was your reality. Yeah. So they're basically trying to. Get into the people emotionally and say to them, "What if this was London? Let's watch one ourselves." It looks like a a, a trailer for for a movie. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But the thing is that look, it's affecting them because they're seeing all these videos being spread. Even Benjamin Netanyahu, yeah. he in in one interview, he made a comment about yeah, the Twitter sure. videos. Yeah. yeah. Why would the president need to make a comment if it's not affecting yeah. them? It is affecting. Bro, them. they're having discussions. Uh, it, what's his name? Ben something. His name is. He's having discussions with um, TikTok and Facebook. Oh damn! To to censor ads. Oh damn! Oh damn! No, no, what happened finished. to freedom of speech? I thought you're what, democracy. What happened? You're finished. You're finished. You're finished. We have the evidence. We have the receipts. Oh, they got the glitch sound effect as well. Ooh. Yeah, and the glitch uh, special effect, and Ooh. you can see, you know, in the steady videos, footage. In the videos they use that, but in my videos, the only glitch that you will get is my voice. I, 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 I don't know what that means. Okay. <laughs> Imagine if this was Paris. Imagine if it was London. Oh. Ooh. Blood mark on London. Right now. Stolen lands. Right now. It's Jerusalem. Stolen, stolen and Yehuda. Ashkelon. Stolen lands. Yes. And it's like Gaza actually. Yeah. What would you do if this was Okay, let's make one thing clear. We are against any kind of attack towards any kind of civilians. Yeah, let's make that very categorically clear. But to equate what the Israelis are doing to the Palestinians at a disproportionate level, that is what we're talking about here. If if what was happening in Israel was happening at the magnitude that it's happening in Palestine. I'm sorry, you wouldn't need to spend thousands of dollars making mm. these adverts and forcing it in front of Muslim YouTubers. Mm. Yeah, the reality stands clear from the falsehood. Yes. Yeah, you don't need to spend all of this money trying to get people emotionally. This, oh, but all we're doing is just sharing what's happening on the ground. Exactly. You are the sound effects. You're using all kinds. Yeah, of stuff. this this actually shows your weakness. Yes, exactly. actually shows that you're thinking, oh my God, what's happening? We're losing. You're, of course, you're losing. Yeah. Exactly. You've been lo you lost that day that you entered our lands mm. forcefully. You've been losing Cowards. by being condemned by the international communities as United Nations. Yes, Amnesty International, Human Rights Watch. You have mm. the people that refuse to even claim that you're a state. Mm. And now this is happening. Absolute ridiculous and mm. a sign of your weakness. Mm. Absolutely, Ali. What do, what do you exactly. make of all this? The stronger you try to look, the weaker you are, you cowards. Oh. Okay, let me tell you something. Yeah, I'm going to smash these uh, cowards again once more time as usual. We're smashing but them, inshallah. Before you do, bro, Please before you me. do, tell me. Let, me, let me show you this, bro. Can, yes. can, can, can you guys see this on the screen? 
Yeah, mm. they're, they're showing that that's that's how they're feeling. No, this is how they're feeling. Yeah, mm. Israelis watch bombs drop on Gaza from front row seats. Now let's be really balanced, this shiny. Okay, we yeah. need to be balanced as well. Okay, okay. I'm sure okay. you know when they are sending these rockets because maybe these soldiers are being forced into what they're doing and oh. they they don't like what they're doing and maybe they might be they might hate the fact that they're sending rockets. No. Okay. What is that? Okay, music for me. What is that? Israeli settlers and soldiers dance and celebrate as they ready uh, as, as, as bombs ready to hit Gaza. Oh, look at the soldiers dancing. Mm, they seem really disturbed. Oh, it's hiding. This guy's dancing. Making love to the missiles. Yeah, in a nutshell, look, if I was asked a question about Israel, if this happened in London, I would say very simple. I would tell the UK government, stop stealing lands. Yeah, stop the apartheid, uh, stop the eth ethnic cleansing, stop the genocide, give them their, give them back their land, get the hell out of there, it doesn't belong to you, yeah, and stop bombing them so they stop bloody retaliating with rockets. That's what I would say, and that is what the image is, so your propaganda video backfires on you because you're just showing one side of the retaliation, yeah? Mm. You stop all of this, did Hamas exist before you guys started stealing lands? No, you are a response to this. You guys created Hamas. Okay, but, so don't blame anybody but yourself. Like in Iraq, we admit the Bush administration, even Trump, for God's sake, Trump, he even admits that they are the cause of ISIS. You give birth to them. Did this whole Zionist mentality that this land belongs to us, we, we are told this in our scriptures, you guys, if it happened over here, you know what we'd be doing? We'd be we'd be questioning the governments, just yes. like the war in Iraq when that was happening. People went into the streets and their droves and their yeah, millions. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they question, they debate. Yeah, they question the government. There's protests telling the government that we do not want part in this, and you can see these protests all over the world. In Israel, we are not seeing this. Mm. Yeah, in Israel, we're not seeing this. So if it happened in London, we'd be hit in the streets saying, do not retaliate like this. We are more stronger militarily. These people, they are weaker than us. We need to show them mercy. We need to listen to what the international community is saying. Listen to the, uh, to the UN. Listen to Human Rights Watch. Listen to Amnesty International and see what we're actually doing. What is the root cause of this? We would not be running to the bunkers and then egging them on even more. We would not be doing this and we would not be accepting 4 billion of aid from the United States just so we could oppress them further. Yeah, you oppress what goes around comes around. Yeah, so if it was happening in the in London, in in Paris, in Spain, wherever, yeah, we would be speaking against our leaders just like we speak against them when they uh, raise these issues against uh, Syria and Afghanistan and Iraq. Yeah, I Iraq, they've admitted now. ISIL is a direct outgrowth of Al Qaeda in Iraq that grew out of our invasion, which is an example of unintended consequence. As you can see, brothers and sisters, desperate times call for desperate measures, and that's what exactly they're doing. The Israeli Defense Force or the Ministry yeah, of Strategic Affairs very is now. actually crumbling yeah, because yeah, of a few yeah. YouTubers. Yes, and we're going to continue, inshallah. We're going to continue, and you guys are going to continue as well. Keep sharing the videos on whatever social media platform you're on, even if you're on WhatsApp. Yeah, even if these little WhatsApp stories you guys have, tell the four or five people and that are around and you. And we will end on this note. Smash the opponent, smash the opponent, smash the opponent. You're finished. Thank <laughs> you.